There are 26 letters in the alphabet, each one with a different name. And all 26 letters of the alphabet come in different size and shapes. And when the letters come together, it makes it even better, cause one thing is for sure. All the letters come together to make something better, like words and so much more. Sing it with me now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, that's the alphabet symphony. Hi guys, Mrs. Watson here. It's Mrs. Carpenter. And today, the letter is D. All right, so I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make the letter D. And later today, you'll get to watch videos and you'll get a chance to practice. The letter D goes down and curves around. That's the uppercase D. And the lowercase D, you start at the midline and you go around, up, and down, okay? So uppercase and lowercase d. Now let's see how our mouth says the letter d. I'm gonna take my tongue and touch right behind my teeth. D. Right behind my teeth with my tongue. You try it. D. D. Very good. Let's make a hook with our finger. D. That's how I do it with my hand. Try it with me. D. D. Very good. Let's say some words with a D at the beginning. Deep. Deep. Dig. Dig. Do it with me, boys and girls. Door. Door. Dip. Dip. Very good. Now I have Dan, the chef, that's here to help us with words that are at the end. Listen up, Dan. Bed. Did you hear him? He said it at the end. You say it. Bed. Bed. Head. Head. Read. Read. Said. Said. Very good talking. All right, guys, so you have seen what the letter D looks like. You've heard what the letter D looks like. So all day today, you get to look for and listen for the letter D. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Let's learn how to make the uppercase D. Remember to hold your pencil correctly and use your helper hand to hold your paper if you need to. The uppercase D once again starts at the top line. We're going to make a line down. We're going to go back up and then around. So it looks like this. Down, up, and around. Now you could pick up your pencil after you go down and just come back to the top and go around if that is easier for you and if it looks nicer. Whichever way looks the nicest. So down, up, and around, or down, come to the top, and around. Okay, let's try the smaller ones. Down, up, and around. Down, up, and around. Or down to the top and around. Down to the top and around. We're going to try some without tracing so on our own and again you see the starting dots that they've given you that tells you where to start so we're gonna go down up and around down up and around or down pick up your pencil to the top and around down pick up your pencil to the top and around. Now I'm going to show you some things that people do that make their handwriting not look very nice and we want to try to keep from doing these. 
Some people make their D's very quickly and they don't happen to make it all the way back up to the top. So then it ends up looking like a different letter. So you have to make sure that if you're going to take your pencil back up, or regardless, you've got to go all the way back up to the top of your capital D. Okay. Sometimes, too, people will um, maybe not get much of a um, loop or a curve here. So again, you are not really sure what letter it is, so make sure that it has a nice fat round belly to it, okay? So once again, it's down, up, and around, or down, pick up your pencil, go to the top, and come around, okay? That's how you make the capital letter or uppercase D. Let's learn how to make the lowercase d. Let's look again at the uppercase d so you can see the difference. This is the uppercase d. It's made of a straight line down and a large curve. This is the lowercase d. It starts with a small curve and then goes up and down. Okay. You need to memorize this one, okay? The biggest key for this is knowing where to start. This is its partner, the uppercase D and the lowercase D. Now let's learn how to make the lowercase D. Again, the lowercase D starts on this curve. It starts like the O over here at the two o'clock spot. So you go over around all the way up to the top line and down. So it's over, around, up, down. Over, around, up, down. Over, around, up, down. Let's try some smaller ones. Over, around, up, down. Over, around, up, down. Over, around, up, down. Over, around, up, down. Let's try making some on our own. You see they have their starting dot under the midline. So it's a small curve. Over, around, there's your C again. Up down, over, around, up, down, over, around, up, down, over, around, up, down. Let's talk about some of the big issues when making the letter D. Part of the problem is that kids will start with the down and then they forget which side does this circle part go on. Okay, so sometimes they'll go this way and sometimes they'll go this way. And this is a different letter. So really you have to remember the D starts with the circle part, the round part, and goes up, down. The other thing is that kids will want to just make a circle and then add a stick. And sometimes they don't get close enough, so it really looks like two different letters. Okay. So we need to keep it all one smooth motion, up, down. This takes practice and this means you're going to have to make them a little bit slower till you get really good at them, okay? So once again, it's over, around, up, down, okay? This is the lowercase d. You might do pretty well doing this and then when you start writing, um, stories and stuff, it may be one that you have to stop and think about again as you're going. But the best thing to do is remember, start with that circle part, that round part, that two o'clock spot on the clock, okay? The lowercase d.